This is one of my favorites. And hey, Tao, could you throw up one of the pictures of this over the kick mic? This microphone, I'm using an Audio-Technica AT4047 right here. And it's almost directly over, hanging over the kick drum, directly above the beater. And it's, in this case, it's facing directly at the snare drum. This mic can be tilted. If we would tilt it down, we would emphasize more the bottom of the snare and start to get more of the, the actual kick. But we liked the placement where it was right here. We're splitting the toms. We have the kick off axis and it's pointed right at the snare. The kick and snare sound, you will, this is almost a great mono thing all on its own. But the kick and snare sound you will get from this is fantastic. Even the punch on the toms, it controls everything. And since we have the ride and you know, is very much off axis on the top and behind the mic, even when he goes on the ride, it's not going to be overwhelming. The crashes won't either. What this will do when we add it in is going to add some serious punch to the kick and especially the snare sound. Here's the over the kick mic. Play on the ride. So notice that that mic that's hanging right over the kick drum, even when he goes to the ride cymbal, it doesn't start to take over that mic at all. It's actually quite impressive. The, the rejection on that 4047 is pretty nice. Close mics only. This mic affects the kick and the snare quite a bit actually. It adds size to the snare drum. Where the top close mic, it's getting the snap and it gets a little bit of the body and whatnot, but it's not really getting the depth of it. <laughs> Oscar, come here. Come here. Say hi to everybody. Come here, buddy. Everybody, this is Oscar. This is the, come here. Turn around, look at the camera. You're on camera, buddy. <laughs> He's. When his ears are good with what we're doing, then we know it's good. All right, go lay down, pal. There's something about that over-the-kick mic that really just makes things uh, nice and punchy when you add it in. Over the kick. It's going through a Tone Lux TX5C. Two. Three, four. last over the kick mic especially the snare when when you hear that thing kick in the snare drum it's great it actually probably sounds better where it is there than the the actual snare drum mic there you have it Hal you want to give me one last something he's going to play the coolest thing i ever taught him that's the coolest thing i ever taught him <laughs>